Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got the same setup as before. Uh, real quickly, I did check the other alternate arts. They are not um, one of the four sovereigns. I will say that I also noticed that they have a little star by them that signifies that they are alternate arts. I will point out that not all of them have that. Uh, I don't know like if that's a new thing they're doing, but I checked some of the ones from the previous sets. They don't got it. So I kind of wish that they'll put those stars on all of them just so that it's like helps to note because that'd be a great reminder uh, of which ones are and aren't alternate arts. Without further ado, let's get on the next four packs. We are almost through this box. Let's see what we can get. I'm seeing another white back, which means we got a baby. We got Hawkmon. Sinduramon, Sandiramon, Niharamon, Lilomon, Sayakomon, Goodnight Moon, Kirinmon, Sunmon, love to see that, Leomon, Bahumon, 7 play costs, 4 to Jivlish costs, 12,000 DP, the Javals from yellow or black, is dual color black yellow. Digivolve from level 5 with Deva Trait for 3. Hand Counter Blast Digivolution. Opponent's turn once per turn. When your security is checked, if that card is a Digimon with the Deva Trait, play it without battling and without paying the cost. On deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest cost. Overflow minus 4. So it looks like they all have that on deletion effect, which is great. I do like that because I'm worried these guys won't stay out very long. Um, but the fact that they're getting rid of some opponent stuff, that could make them second think that, which is great. I would like some ruling where it's like, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost. I guess... I guess it's you choose, which is great. Um, these are only a play cost of seven, which is a lot less than some of the other ones. Because normally, like, Megas are, like, a lot higher... Um, I guess because these ones are meant to be uh, brought out easier. And we got Dragomon. 7 play cost, 3 Digivolution cost, 7,000 DP. On player when Digivolving, your opponent plays 1 level 4 or lower Digimon card from their trash suspended without paying the cost. On play, uh, effects of that Digimon played by this effect don't activate. All turns, once per turn. When an effect plays an opponent's Digimon... You may play one dig purple Digimon card with uh, level less than the less than or equal to it from the trash without paying the cost. Inherited effect, piercing. Uh, I like the inherited effect. This top effect, like you are giving your opponent a Digimon. That's not crazy, so I guess that's fine. But I'm just giving your opponent anything is not a great idea. Next pack. And we are starting off with Vikaralamon, Alekmon, Indramon, Majiramon, Lyamon, Kumbiramon, Phobis Blow, Freemon, Garurumon X Antibody, Dobermon X Antibody, Aquilamon, 4 play cost, 2 digit blue cost, 4000 DP, has Fortitude and Inherited Effect, all turns while the Sigimon is suspended, it gets plus 1000 DP. I don't like that bottom bit. I would have liked it better if it was offensive, um, but it's not, it's not the end of the world, and I do like the Fortitude, so that's nice. Um, the 4,000 body is very low, but the fact that this is only a champion, all right, that, that makes sense. And we got Sayo and Ko. Three play cost, your turn. When an effect places the top card of your Digimon in a Digimon's Digivolution cards by suspending this tamer, gain one memory. Start of an opponent's turn. By playing one card with the same level 
as one of your Nightclaw or Light Fang trait Digimon from that Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost, two of your Digimon may DNA Digivolve into a Digimon card in your hand. At the end of the turn, return the Digimon played by this effect to the hand. Uh, security, play this card without paying the cost. Okay. So reading this, let's see. Okay. So this makes a little more sense to me. as Because last time we saw it, I was like, why would you give up so much stuff? No, what you're doing is you are removing a Digivolution card from one of your Digimon playing an equal Digimon from your hand, DNA Digivolving the two, uh, and then that one gets bounced back to your hand, uh, and those two cards go to the trash. So that's a little lighter. Not as terrible as I thought it was. Still don't like that it doesn't have any, like, uh, big memory gain like the other one did. But yeah, it's fine. And we got... Oh, that was the last one. Okay. For a second, I thought we had two there. I forgot that was... I forgot the first one was Aquilamon. That's what happens when you do so many of these videos. Like sometimes you lose track. Alright. Next pack. We got Alekmon. Indramon. Majiramon. Lyamon, Kumbaramon, Phobus Blow, Sayakomon, Jaomon, Flaremon, nice, Targetmon, Loader Leomon, 7 play cost, 4 Digivolution cost, 7,000 DP, Digivolve from level 4 with Leomon the same for a cost of 3, has the Fortitude ability, on player when Digivolving, uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP until the end of their turn. Uh, inherited effect, opponent's turn, while this Digimon has Leomon in the same, it gains Blocker. So as we said before, like, I like this one because you put Digivolve, uh, your opponent's Digimon loses 3,000 DP. Uh, you swing into something, this one gets deleted, uh, it goes to the trash, comes back without anything underneath it. Another one of your or another one or the same Digimon loses another 3,000 DP. Then you could Digivolve on top of it, uh, pass to the opponent. It's now got Blocker if it's a Leomon, and that Digimon may have minus 6,000. That would probably stop them from attacking. So yeah, there's there's a lot of combo potential that I see with this one. I like it. And we got Biting Crush. Eight play cost. Main by trashing one card in your hand, delete one of your opponent's level 6 or lower Digimon. If this effect trashed a card with the 7 Great Demon Lords trait, place this card in the battle area. All turns, when an effect plays an opponent's Digimon, delay, you may play one Leviathamon from your trash without paying the cost. Uh, security, activate this card's main effect. So yeah, we need to get Leviathamon to see if this card is going to be real great or not. But I do like some of the stuff that it's doing. Final pack this video. Let's see what we can pull. What do we got? Pajiramon. Ankilamon. Repamon. Fikaralamon. Makuramon, Loyalty Deeper Than the Sea, Labramon, Tokomon, Garudamon, Chrysamon, nice, Cerberusmon, X Antibody, 8 play cost, 3 Digivolution cost, 7000 DP, Digivolve from level 5 with Cerberusmon in its name without the X Antibody trait for a cost of 0. Uh, on play, you may play one purple level 3 Digimon card from your trash without paying the cost. When Digivolving, draw one. Then trash one card in your hand. If the Digimon card with Cerberusmon in its name or X Antibody in its in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, activate this Digimon's on play ability. Uh, and then the inherited effect is when attacking once per turn by deleting one of your other Digimon, unsuspend this Digimon. 
I don't know. This one meh to me. Finally, we got Garu or, or Gobblemon X Antibody, not Garurumon. Uh, three play costs, one Digivolution costs, 2,000 DP. Uh, Digivolves from purple or blue. Use dual color blue, purple. Digivolve from any Sunamon slash Gabumon with a cost of zero. On play or when Digivolving, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add two cards with Gabum with Garurumon or X Antibody in their names among them to your hand. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. Uh, if you added cards, trash one card in your hand. Inherited effect. All turns, once per turn. When this Digimon with Garurumon or Omnimon in its name would be deleted in battle by returning two non digi a cards from your trash to the bottom of your deck, prevent that deletion. Again, I like the staying power. I'm not... Like, I don't like discarding a card, but that's fine. I think this one's pretty solid. I would I would definitely put it in a Gabumon deck. With that, we've reached the end of this video. Uh, next time, we will finish off this last box. If you got any ideas for future videos, leave it in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.